If you look at all of the sniper rifles in TF2, they all feel like they basically do the same job as each other, but each with their own little feature that makes it different from the rest, which also makes them a weapon you would actually want to use to get that benefit. The stock in the orb are just that. The stock sniper rifle, which is simple, reliable, and feels really nice to use. The machina doesn't let you fire without being scoped in. That can be a bit annoying, but most of the time you won't need that. However, once you've got it fully charged, you do more damage and you have a chance to kill two enemies in one bullet. It's never happened to me, but I I'm going to say maybe it will happen one day. The Bizarre Bargain actually charges itself faster the more headshots you get. The Huntsman is just kind of the Huntsman. There's not much else to it. And the Hitman's Heatmaker allows you to stay scoped in after filling up your bar and just be shooting constantly, which is really cool. And even the Classic lets you headshot without being scoped in. But the main outlier to all of these rifles is the Sydney Sleeper. This sniper rifle does have its own little feature that makes it separate from the rest, covering people in Jurati when your charge meter goes past a certain point. But it also has a downside that no other sniper rifle in the entire game has. And that is that this sniper rifle can't actually headshot people. This video is sponsored by Dragon City. Dragon City is a free to play game on Android and iOS and in it you can collect thousands of different dragons and build your very own dragon empire. You can train up your dragons in battles to make them more powerful and you can breed two types of dragons together to create new ones and you can also feed your dragons to make them evolve. There are a bunch of different PvP modes that let you fight your friends and challenge other Dragon Masters. If you download Dragon City with my link in the description, you get given 15,000 food, 30,000 gold, and 10 gems. These rewards are only available for new players and for the next seven days. So make sure you download Dragon City today from the link in my description and claim your exclusive rewards. And I feel like for a sniper player, a headshot is the main thing you're always aiming to get. The element of your gameplay that separates you from the other classes and most of the time actually gets you most of your kills. And this weapon doesn't allow you to do that. I tried using the Sydney Sleeper again on stream, which by the way, you should follow my Twitch. I stream there every day. And I tried to see how it felt to use and to work out if this Sydney Sleeper was actually the worst sniper rifle in the game. Or if it was a title I could save for something like the classic. Who knows? Also, this is the part of the video where I ask you guys to subscribe if you aren't already subbed. It would help me out a lot and it would be epic if you could do it. Thank you. So what I found from using the Sydney Sleeper is that for me, it was just not that fun at all. I did originally think that not having headshots wouldn't be too bad because you could cover the enemies in Jurati and hopefully do more damage like that. But for me, not having headshots, even if you know you do the mini crit headshots when you hit somebody, but not having the proper 150 headshot really throws you off when you're playing Sniper and really makes you have to change the way you play the class. Now, that in itself isn't something I have a problem with or really mind all that much because it does give Sniper another element to him and another way to play this class, which I think every class really could do with. But I'm not sure that this other way of playing Sniper is the way that I really like playing him. I love hitting quick headshots and getting kills like that as Sniper. It's how I've learned to play and it's how I've been playing as Sniper for dozens and dozens of hours now. So it would be a very rough adjustment period if I was to start using the Sydney Sleeper more than any of the other Sniper rifles. I think the thing with the Sydney Sleeper is that this is definitely a team player gun. This isn't really the type of weapon you use if you want to get a bunch of kills really quickly with it and be all flashy when you're sniping because it really just doesn't have that kind of power. Unless you're going to be charging it up fully and body shotting someone which leaves you vulnerable for a long time just to do 150 damage. You can do a little bit more if you do hit the mini crit headshots but it, it just doesn't feel the same. <laughs> And if your aim is anything like mine is some days, you'll spend all of that time charging up the weapon just to completely miss your shot and have to start all over again. And if you do that a couple of times in a row and don't hit anybody, you've wasted a very long time and got nothing out of it. This gun exists to get you assists. You can charge it up a little bit, do some chip damage to the enemy from far away, and you need to hope then that the team sees the Jurassic cover player and focuses them and kills them. But will that happen in casual? Probably not, but if you keep with a few friends and you want to annoy the server a little bit, I'm sure there's ways that you can make this item work. It's just not quite my playstyle. You'll notice if you've seen my videos before, I like to jump into groups of enemies, get as many kills as I can, or at least be fairly aggressive when I'm trying to get kills. And when I play Sniper, 
I like to try and get into positions I think people won't expect me. Even if that means I'm a little bit closer to where the enemies are coming from, then you would normally find a sniper. Doing that with the Sydney sleeper, because I can't get these quick 150 headshots off on people, it just gets me killed every single time. And charging up the meter to full just to do some decent damage makes you the biggest spy bait going. Like, I have problems with spies even now when I play sniper, but that would be ridiculous. Another thing I've noticed is that the Jurati doesn't last long most of the time from what I've seen. I guess it stays longer the higher the charge rate is, but that means you basically have to charge up your shots as the feature of the weapon won't even work for as long as you would need it to, so you or your team can actually do something with it. Unless, obviously, your team is right on top of the enemy you hit, quickscoping an enemy doesn't really help from what I have seen. Once it's charged up a bit more, sure, it's super useful and your team can do a lot with it. But at that point, the class you just shot will be on way lower health anyway, so you won't really need the Drati as much. You may as well have just quickly headshot it with another sniper rifle instead. Saves a lot more time and probably ends up helping your team way more. So, objectively, do I think this is the worst sniper rifle in the entire game? I mean, it's probably not, but for my playstyle, I feel like this is the most against what I'm used to. Except for maybe the classic, but just for now, let's forget that thing exists. No, I don't think this is the worst weapon in the entire game, but I think the actual benefit of the Jurati being thrown on somebody isn't exactly worth the amount of time it would take when you're just standing there waiting to shoot someone to keep the Jurati on them for a decent period of time. Your charge meter needs to be pretty full to even get your Jurati to last for a couple of seconds, where in that couple of seconds with any other sniper rifle, you could have easily killed three people. I think the weapon as a whole looks really cool. I think the concept of it is really cool. I just don't think the practicality of it in a game when you can aim as a sniper is really all that useful. Now, sure, if you only really aim for the body and you're not like the best sniper and you're just trying to learn to hit consistent shots, then yeah, I reckon this could be a pretty good sniper rifle for you. But once you've learned to hit headshots and that is where you aim all the time, I don't think the Sydney Sleeper is really all that useful. Maybe as well if you're in a game with no spies and you can just stand there for ages, then it would also work. But how often is that ever going to happen? TF2 is full of spies. I know a lot of people like this sniper rifle a lot, which is why I don't think it is the worst thing in the game. Like, obviously, people will find their uses for it and people will find the way that they like to play with it. But for me, I don't think this gun will ever compare to the stock sniper rifle. But I want to hear about what you guys think of the Sydney Sleeper. Do you think this is a good gun? Do you think it is better or more useful than the stock sniper rifle, the Bizarre Bargain, the Machina, any other sniper rifle that is in the game? Do you think this is better or do you think it is actually the worst sniper rifle going? Anyway, that is going to do it for the video. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure you leave this video a like and also subscribe to the channel if you're new. Also, just go and check out a bunch of the links in the description. There's all my socials, there's a merch thing, there's Patreon, there's, there's all kinds of things for you to click on. But yeah, anyway, thank you all so much for watching the video. Once again, I hope you all enjoyed it, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.